Thank you, everybody, for joining the Tiger 2020 Pro Bill Import training webinar this morning. So what is a Bill Import? So using our Tiger reporting tool, at the moment it's standard. It will monitor all of your extension activity from your unified communications or your traditional PBS. What we can do though within 2020 is allow you to fully analyze your telecoms data and expenditure. So what we can do is we can take your existing extension information and incorporate your mobile and PSTN activity into the system. This is what's called a bill import. This means that data can be imported alongside your extension information. And this will allow Tiger 2020 to provide analysts on speech, data usage, roaming, SMS and MMSs. And this will then allow you to also generate reports alongside your traditional CDR information. What we'll need to do though is assign mobile or PSTN numbers to departments and to users. Then the reports will encompass all user activity, whether it be you want it to run just on extensions, just on mobile bill imports or both. And then you can use Tiger 2020 Pro's powerful filtering to get all the information in your report. So what is a requirement from Tiger to be able to do this? So we can support any vendor that provides an exportable itemization electronic file. Data available is determined by the vendor. So this is the information that they can provide to you. And the data is normally provided on a monthly billing cycle. Now it could be that your vendor could provide this on a daily or weekly option, but that is completely up to the vendor to supply the information to you. What we would require though, when we talk about itemization is we would need one row per billing record. So if we looked at say a mobile phone bill as a bill import, we would expect one row per call or one row per MMS or one row per SMS. Tiger though can assess the data and provide feedback on in each instance. So if you go to your vendor and ask for sample data, Tiger then can provide feedback on what information we can give you and whether we can support that information. All you'll need to do is just speak to your account manager and then we can provide feedback on. So Tiger 2020 can support importing data such as mobile vendor itemizations, PSDN vendor itemizations. So for example, if you've got home workers with landline installed in their homes and you want to look at all of their calls that are business lines in their homes we can do that for you you can do sms itemizations so if you run a contact center where you have sms gateways and you want to have a look at all of those calls we can import that we can look at fax server itemizations isdm bills and bt1 bills so again, it's a requirement from your vendor to supply an electronic file that gives us line by line information that will allow us to then import to Tiger 2020. So that's what a bill import does. And as I said, by adding it into 2020, it gives you an all encompassing system that allows you to build departments based upon their mobile, their extension use, etc. So what information is required in that file? So we require it to be exportable, but the file must contain at minimum these bits of information here. So we require an endpoint number. So what we mean by this is a number that we can assign to the directory to allow us to bill those calls to that department and that user or that cost center. We require a dialed number. So what the user has dialed. Now it may not be a dialed number as such. It could be that it says the word data or it could be that it says MMS. It just needs something that we can allow the system to then put in the dialed number field. It must require a duration. So how long the call lasts. The fields though can be formatted in different types. So it could be that your bill import field comes in seconds. It may come in minutes and seconds. It may come in hours, minutes and seconds. It doesn't matter to Tiger. We can then convert that into a system to make it display on the screen. The field or the file may contain a cost. So what we can do though with costs within Tiger 2020 is we can take the cost from the file and place it in your cost and we can then generate a secondary cost. So what this may mean is that let's say we go back to this example where you've installed a broadband line in a remote worker's house. You may want to charge that remote worker if they make any personal calls on that line with an uplift. So what you could say is the call comes into you at one pence per minute for a national call, but you want to charge that person 10 pence per minute. So in our cost field, we will take the cost that it costs you and then we can use a tariff to generate a bill for that call as well. 
Therefore, when you send the bill to the end user or to the department head, you can use either the cost, what you pay for it, or a bill, what you want to charge for those calls. And the file must contain a start date and time of the call. So they are the minimum fields that we would need of information. The file then must be downloadable from your vendor. And then we place that file in a predefined location, which will be fully documented and explained to you by the Tiger engineer once we have set this up for you. They may leave additional instructions though, because you may be asked to do things like rename it to a specific file name. So for example, if they send the file to you in a particular file name format, it may be that we ask you to rename it to a specific name so that the Tiger system can then automatically import that data. Again, if there are such requirements, full instructions will be given to you by the Tiger engineer, and we will also be able to assist you further down the line if you have any questions, because this information will be documented. So I'm just going to quickly switch out of the PowerPoint just to show you some sample data from a vendor. So this is some mobile bill data. It's just some sample information. So what we would require is line by line by line information from the vendor. These bits of information aren't really required here, but if they're there, if it's a requirement, then we can look to possibly import that information. But we would require things like the phone number. So what is the calling number we will assign in the directory? Again, the username and the allocation codes may not be required. The dialed number. So what did the person dial? If the field is blank, then we can insert a default value for these. The date of the call and the time of the call. The duration of the call, so how long the call lasted. In mobile bill terms, is it a GPRS call? Therefore, what's the volume of that call for GPRS? Some additional information that we use to work out whether it was a GPRS call, whether it was a mobile call or a national call. And also we'll use things like, was the call roaming, not roaming, etc. in here as well. So we use all these used additional fields to then be able to show on the screen whether the call was a roaming call, a not roaming call, a GPRS call, a national call, a mobile call, etc. So these are just, as I say, some samples of what a set of data could look like from your vendor. Again, though, it just comes back to the minimum requirements we spoke about on here. So once we've got that information, what's the requirements from 2020 to get it in? So what we require is that the information about the mobiles are assigned within your directory. So I've got a sample here. I've used Anthony Hargreaves here as an example. So Anthony Hargreaves has a fixed line here. So he has his extension number and he has two mobile numbers. So the top one here could be his mobile GPRS dongle or his iPad. And the one below could be his mobile handset. So they could have more than one device that you need to build them against but what we have done though is we've assigned that number there that mobile bill or that bill import there against Anthony Hargreaves and we've assigned his extension number so if I was to generate a report on Anthony Hargreaves for a month I would get all of his extension calls all of his iPad calls or iPad data usage and I would get his mobile phone usage as well but if you've not assigned an endpoint into the directory, we do have reports that give you the unknown extensions. And so you can then go and assign these. So what you'd be able to then do is run the unknown extension reports, assign those phones to who owns them, and then backdate them to make sure that their costs are then apportioned correctly to the departments and to the people. So what options do I have available to me to assign this information? Well, the first one is to manually maintain the directory. So what this means is that you will have to manually assign the mobiles to the people and the people to the departments and the departments to the departments here. We can do a one-off import though to do a mass update for you to make a sort of first run at this directory for you. But then any modifications, deletions will have to be manually undertaken by you. The next option though is directory integration. So directory integration is an automated synchronization. So if your data to source contains things like the mobile number or the landline number you want to assign to the person, then we can automatically import it from the source directory into the view here. Also by doing it this way, it will create history. So as you add a person into your source data and directory integration runs, 
it will do all of the changes on a daily basis, creating history, knowing that maybe Anthony moved from cardiographer to another department, and then if you run a monthly report, it will then show you that Anthony's calls were against this department from this part of the month, and then in his new department going forward. But you've got to remember, if you are using directory integration for this, that the source data must contain the numbers here. So what possible information can you get out of bill imports? So in addition to the minimum fields, there are some variation or varying data that you can also get out of Tiger 2020. So you'll be able to get things like the endpoint numbers. So who was calling and called, the date and time of the call, the type of activity. So things like, was it an MMS call, a GPRS call, an SMS call? And it will allow you to then see that type of information the dialed numbers and the duration of the calls. Look at the cost. So you could look for the most expensive calls, calls that maybe users shouldn't be making. And again, as discussed earlier, that cost could be the cost from the vendor, or it could be a calculated cost based upon a defined tariff within Tiger 2020. And you could look at things like volume of data. So you can start to look at the high volume usage of certain users so that you can go and ask them maybe to turn off things on their phones if they're using too much data. So what mobile bill reports are available Available. There are some specific reports that are available within Tiger 2020 for just mobile billing information, but all other reports allow you to filter on the mobile bill imports file data source and you can generate stats. So for example, the departmental cost summary reports will still work and it will incorporate the bill CDR source. Again, this will be the same for any other report that you select through Tiger 2020. So it could be a high low usage report looking for the most expensive dialed numbers. Again, that would then incorporate your fixed line so your traditional pbx's and your smdr and cdr records and include the bill import records we spoke earlier about adding in user information into the tiger 2020 directory definition so for you to successfully build departments you'll need to assign the numbers to a person and a person to a department so to assign a new mobile bill or a bill import number to a person, you simply click on the person and add an extension. You choose your CDR source from the top here and you then choose the number that you want to assign to them and click OK. And that will then just assign the number to the person and the person to the departments. That's if you're doing it manually. Again though, if you're using director integration, all of this will be done automatically by directory integration. And as per normal within directory definition, if that number actually belonged to that person at a different date, you can right click. You can then backdate that item back to a date and time in the past. So we'll say that this person actually got that mobile phone on the 1st of the 1st of 2020. You could then backdate it by clicking the change. I've just picked one that's created there, but if I can just click on the change button there and it will then backdate it for us to say that all calls starting from four o'clock on the first of the first will now be billed to Charlene Kitchener and against cardiographer. So how do we generate data from Tiger 2020 Pro? Well, we do this as normal, how we would generate any other bill or any other data from Tiger 2020. So first of all, we can use our filters and we can select our date ranges at the top here. But in this example here, I'm just going to select my bill import data source and I'm gonna look at my call information report to start with using my bill import view. So this will now go off and get all of the calls from my bill import and allow me now to analyze all the itemized calls that have come through there. So for me, I may be interested who was on the longest call. So I could then sort on that data here and go, wow, someone was on the call for eight hours and 21 minutes. Well, should they have been on the phone for that long? And there was another call that was there for five hours and 34 minutes. There was no cost associated to that call because it was probably included in our bundled minutes. But should they have been on the phone for the eight hours? Or I could look at cost. So what's my most expensive cost of calls to go and then find out how much we're spending on particular calls. So here, for example, this was a data call. So there was 20 pounds there because they've been using data. And I can find out how much data they used using our pool bandwidth. Now, this is in kilobits here, this value. So you would have to calculate this to megabytes or to gigabytes, but there are calculators available online to calculate exactly how much that is in megabytes. 
It could be, though, that we're interested in somebody ringing a particular number. Like, should they be ringing 0844 calls? You know, there was a £2.26 call there that we could question whether they should be making that call or not. And for example, here, there was a text info service. So we can go and look here about that particular type of call as well. So that's us looking at the call in an itemized way. But again, we can use our bill imports to then come and use any of our other standard reports and use any of our other powerful filters. So let's go and look at our dialed number report here. And I'll use the existing call so I don't have to filter again. And I can see that our data is our most expensive. We spend £1,600 on data. And there were 45,000 billing records that generated that total cost. If I sort, the next one is to this 0844 number where we spent £7.20. And this one is £7.55. To look at those calls in more detail, because I can go, well, that's 13 calls and £7.72. If you simply then double click on the line, you'll then be able to see which mobile numbers are ringing those numbers here. And maybe these are conference call numbers. So maybe we could look at saving money by looking at different conferencing services rather than getting our mobiles to dial 0844 numbers, which aren't included in our bundle. If you are looking, though, to do billing, you could use the departmental cost summary report here. So again, the same as before, if I just generate that, it will now use the same departmental cost summary report, but it will assign all of the cost from the bill import to the department, allowing you to then distribute the bill out to the department heads for their costs. So for example, here, I selected level one and level two, and I can now get my costs for cardiographer, for apparel workers and so on here. So I then have all of my costs assigned to my departments. And if I wanted to, I could export this data to a file where I would then be able to send it to my department heads. Or I could click on my report button and view my report. Or I could save my report as per usual with all of our Tiger 2020 reports. Although if I want to include my standard CDR records, if I want to include other bits of information, so I want to use my CDR data from my PBX, if I was to select all switches, I will run this for one day. You'll be able to see not only will I get the extension information in my departmental cost summary report now, I also get my fixed line information as well from my PBX. So my totals underneath all of these now will include my mobile and my extension information. So again, when I generate my bills, it's including both sets of data. So I'm not having to bill them separately with one report and another report from somewhere else. It's now all in a centralized place that I can bill out from here. So what other reports can we use? from Tiger 2020. Well, there is a special one for mobile bills in here, which looks at mobile bill data only. So if I'm interested in that, I can come into here and I can run the specific mobile bill report. And it will then give me my breakdown of the call types, how much data has been used, whether there was any roaming, etc. used. So I can then bill out to all my departments. So here I'll get things like non-roaming, roaming, voice roaming, etc. over here. And the total costs for that department here. And then if I was to go into my report, I would then be able to see that on a breakdown here of the department names, how many voice calls for non-roaming and how much data they've spent on roaming, as well as the total costs at the end here. Again, like in all the other reports, you can right click and you can export this information to file. If you are going to be using it for billing as well, you could include all your unallocated extensions to show you which ones you haven't assigned yet here. So I can see here all of these numbers here haven't yet been assigned to a department and I could calculate how much cost that is and then go back into my directory and assign those into my directory to make sure that all costs are assigned to a department. Therefore, my department's knocking up the cost for all of those calls. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if there's anything else you'd like to learn about Tiger 2020 and its other features, please visit www.tigercoms.com for more tutorials and information.